not a mighty abuser when you say that. Well, you well, you you hope he'll he'll be protective, and that'll help yeah. you feel better when you're right. in a short time short stints when you're at home alone and stuff like that. So that's kind of the future hope. And yeah. he's but he's kind of big, and and he we're not sure what he is. He's probably part lab, part Pyrenees. Who knows what? And um, but we think he'll have a little bit of protective instinct for her, which will be make her make Anna feel better, right? Mm -hmm. We, we sort of were leaning toward a, of an adult dog because then you know what you're getting and you don't have to wonder what it's going to turn into. Um, and then, honestly, we sort of caved because we Anna found, yeah. found these cute puppies online and we did what you're not supposed to do, which is go look at the puppies. And But we, we breed-wise, we looked at him we thought, yeah, that's kind of the breed. We're looking for a lab-ish dog that's going to be sweet. And he was really mellow and we could tell that he was really chill, which it needs to be for Anna can't be jumping all over you and hyper and she right. can't go run around in the yard so it has to be a dog that's going to be a little bit chill and right. we want it to be sizable and all that and it just seemed like we, we thought oh you know we'll just take the plunge and try it but I think an adult dog works great yeah. because then you really know what you're getting yeah um but you know, they won't also, live as long and all that but also a puppy um if you have the training and the um now you can also train it Put him, put him on if you want to, yeah. Might, might be in the other thing is puppies, I think, and I'm not a dog expert, but I think um, a puppy is more likely to, to want to bond to one person in their early years, in their early months like this. So I think it's probably easier to get, to get a puppy to bond to one person than it would be to take a three-year-old mm -hmm. dog and get them to bond to one person. Right. Um, and, you know, a puppy needs house training. So part of the house training was confining him either in Anna's bathroom to sleep at night or in her living space here with her, um, just so he doesn't go out and ruin all the rugs in the house. So that that this need to confine him sort of made them even more bonded because they spend a lot of time together. So that's the kind of but a weird, weird advantage of a puppy. Don't come for We do run him out in the main house. Oh yeah, he gets lots of freedom and he has a huge yard. He's, he lives like a king. <laughs> um, and he's really going to be spoiled, but he's, yeah. he's really sweet. And so I think what Anna wanted to talk about today was it's sometimes it's hard to get a dog to bond with you if you're physically disabled because right. you can't, you know, take him on walks by yourself. You can't play in the yard. You can't, there's certain things you can't do, but I think you wanted to talk about what you can do yeah. to try to get a dog to bond with you. Um, so is that still ahead? Yeah. Yep. So now that we, I don't talk about, um, Picking out the door and all that. The next thing would be how do you make the door bond with you if you can't do the pitiful thing that it requires or that it recommended to bond with the door? Because when you look up a lot of the time, how do I bond with the door? And I say, play with him, and I do, but I can't play with him out in the yard. And then it'll also say take them on a walk, mm -hmm. which are two very difficult things. Mm -hmm. You can modify those things, absolutely, but they're not going to be the same as an able body. <laughs> and, and also feeding is a big one because yeah. the dog bonds to whoever feeds it in some ways. So, right. But that's hard for Anna. She doesn't have the motor skills to get the, right. get the food and put it in the bowl and all right. that. But she'll talk about how we overcame so that. So how did I modify those things to map my uh, knee, my lifestyle? So the first thing I done, my dad said, is when we were potty training him for the first couple of days, he was firmly confined into this area with very help. 
and then we also have all his things in here. Her bed, his toy, his food and water. So we mourn we mourn that now we met him have seen run the house he out in the main area. He has no denial really to meet the area even when the door is open. Even if Unless you're in the yeah. I'm going <laughs> in the I'm in the I'm walking out to the main area. He may no, I'm yeah. I'm made. It's amazing I'm, how fast <laughs> it happened because all these things she's gonna tell you, it was a matter of a few days or a week and suddenly he likes wants to be where Anna is and he'll follow her. If she leaves the room, he leaves. If she comes back, he comes back. <laughs> if she sits at her desk, he sits right underneath her. And it's really amazing how quickly it bonded, and because of all these things that, right. that we did, and it, I didn't know it would work that well, but. So that one thing, but the way I, stuff in his bed. the way I set up my area with his talk, he said that is the play point. Another thing that I did, and I'll insert the video here right now, but I bought a wee pet heart feeder. From Amazon. A feeder, yeah. Yeah. Um, and you can, I just wanted to say something very important about this feeder. If this is one of the only brands that you don't have to put it on a timer. You can if you want, but you can manually hit the feed button and it will come out without a timer necessary. Most automatic feeders, I did a lot of research when we moved the scene that door. Most automatic feeders require a timer and it will go off at a certain time um, with the food. And you don't want that because you want to be the person in the room doing it. Yeah, that's the key is because what we do is Anna's bathroom is where. Um, Henry stays at night. It's almost like a, a giant crate, basically. Like it's a small bathroom. It's got a linoleum floor, so in case he goes to the bathroom or something. But we take his giant, giant bed, we put it in the bathroom, and then he has his toys and he sleeps in there. But he also has his food and water in there. So Anna will go in and sit in the bathroom and use her app, and, and we close the door, and then they're together, and she feeds him. And we do that every time. And he's yeah. gotten to know that that's, not only is Anna the one who feeds him, but it's a place where he eats and sleeps. So he's very unlikely to go to the bathroom in there, which is a good thing. But he also feels like it's a positive place. It's not just the place right. I get shut in every night. It's the place where I also eat and sleep right. and good things happen. So that's worked out really well, I think, for you. For right. you. The feeder's right. been fantastic. Because you have to feed it on what a bond with you. Mm -hmm. um, another thing is, and I'll miss that feeder down below in my Amazon store. Another thing that I've been doing recently, the weather's been so nice, is biking. Uh, biking while Dad walks Henry. Yeah, I just walk Henry right next, you know, right next to the bike, and so he gets to walk along Anna as she rides so on her how, adaptive trike. Yeah. yeah, that's how we've been doing path walks. Whenever it's nice enough to yeah. do so. And I walk Henry too by myself sometimes. Right. So it's not like you have to do absolutely everything. But I think if you do some of these key things really right. early when you have the dog, like the very first, you know, no one should feed the dog except for the person you want them to bond with from day one. And it's pretty amazing how fast a few of those things, the sleep, the sleeping, right. kind of being together, the, um, you know, petting them. And, he, and sometimes you get on the ground, know, like lay on the floor yeah. and we're, and you can pet Henry for a while and we leave. And so just those moments and the food and the sleeping yeah. just and makes him totally connect with Anna. He allowed on all my furniture. <laughs> um, he allowed on all my furniture and I sit here and I pet him. I mean, I've been doing that every night. <laughs> Honestly, I really enjoy it. I will probably end up editing this video while sitting here. <laughs> um, and the other nice thing that I didn't want to mention that I forgot to mention earlier is the height of the dawn. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. <laughs> yeah, because we have a dachshund, and she's been our dog for years, and we, we rescued her when she was three, but Anna's never been able to, she can't reach down to pet her. She's so little that she I can't love reach her. her. She loves her to death, but you can't, you just can't interact with her very easily because Anna's on a chair. And so unless she's on the Not floor, wheelchair. not a wheelchair, a, a desk chair, yeah. but even a wheelchair would be the same thing. It yeah. might be a little easier in a wheelchair, but it's for it, depending on your motor skills and your other this, right. issues, you know, picking a dog whose head is going, when he grows up is going to be at a height where you can reach it and pet it is another good thing. And in this case, Henry's already big enough, which is nice. So Henry can feel like Anna, you know, can interact with him and pet with pet him from day one, which was nice. Doesn't have to be. You can have a smaller dog, but it's just you got to kind of match it to your capabilities. Yeah. And hopefully, you can interact with it in different ways. And then here in the bio, my sister to protect me and be with me, and we developed that within the few days. So that's really nice. <laughs> Hold it. I have a mic on petting and petting out and bonding with the dog. Um, when you have a disability. So if you like this video, make sure you like this video. Comment down below if you have any pets. If you'd like to follow along Henry and I adventure together, he does have an Instagram. Of course. And I will put it, <laughs> I will put it right here on the screen. The dot Henry, Henry Graham. Graham. The dot Henry Graham. Yeah. And we hope to see you over there and have an awesome day. Bye. Bye, Henry. <laughs> hey, Henry. Hey, bye. Say goodbye, Hans.